Hello kids, my name is Vijeta Pitcha from Saraswati Group of Education. I hope you all are fine. In the previous session, we understood about common nouns and proper nouns. Now, in common nouns, there are subtypes that is singular and plural. singular and plural or we can say one and many a noun can refer to one or more than one we were already learnt about nouns so let's revise it what are nouns the names given to persons places animals and things are nouns a noun that names one person animal place or thing is called a singular noun Nouns that are one in number are called singular. For example, a boy, a cat, a house, a flower. These all are the example of one thing. One boy, one cat, one house, one flower. So, it's a singular noun. A noun that names more than one person, animal, place or thing is called a plural noun. A noun that are more than one in number are called plural nouns. For example, Boys, cats, houses, flowers. You can see the example. There are more than one boys, more than one cats, more than one houses, more than one flowers. So, it's a plural noun. When we write the plural form of a noun, we have to follow some rules. So, let's learn them. Rule number one. We usually add S at the end of a noun to change it to its plural form. Let's see examples. Pencil, pencils. Here we have added the word S to change the word pencils from its singular form to its plural form. Let's see some more example. Game, games, chair. Chairs, bird, birds. 
Have you noticed? Here, in all the words, we have added S to change the words from its singular form to plural form. Rule number two. If a noun ends with letter S, SS, SH, CH or X, we add ES to make it plural. Let us see the example. Bus. B-U-S bus. Buses. Here the word bus ends with letter S. So to make it plural form we add ES at the end. Next example. Princess. Princesses. Here the word princess ends with letters S S. So to make it plural form, we add E S at the end. Next example, dish, D I S H, dish. Here the word dish ends with letter S H. So to make it plural form, we add. ES at the end. Next example, ostrich. Here the word ostrich ends with letters CH. So to make it plural form, we add ES at the end. Ostrich, ostriches. Last example, fox. Here the word fox ends with letter X. So to make it plural form, we add ES at the end. Fox, foxes. There are some more examples that is brush, brushes, watch, watches. Rule number three, if a noun ends with consonant with Y, we drop the Y and add IES to its singular form in order to change it. To its plural form. What is consonant? Do you all know? In alphabets, some letters are consonant and some are vowels. The letters A, E, I, O, U are vowels. All the letters other than vowels are Consonant. Okay. So, in rule number three, if a noun ends with letter Y, but before the letter Y, if there is a consonant, we drop the letter Y and add IES to its singular form in order to make it plural form. Let us see the example cherry. Here you can see the noun ends with letter Y. But before that there is a letter R that is consonant. So if a noun ends with consonant with Y then we drop the letter Y and add IES. That is, instead of Y, we add IES. 
वन मोर एग्जाम्पल बनी द वर्ड बनी एंड विथ लेटर वाई एंड बिफोर दैट देर इज अ लेटर एन विच इज अ कॉन्सोनेंट सो टू मेक इट प्लूरल वी ड्रॉप द लेटर वाई एंड देन वी एड आई ई एस टू मेक इट्स प्लूरल फॉर्म बनी बनीज वन मोर एग्जाम्पल बेबी बेबीज हियर ऑल्सो द वर्ड बेबी एंड विथ लेटर वाई एंड बिफोर द लेटर वाई देर इज अ कॉन्सोनेंट दैट इज लेटर बी सो वी ड्रॉप द लेटर वाई एंड एड आई ई एस रूल नंबर फोर वेन द नाउन हैज अ वोवेल with y and add s to its singular form to change it to the plural form that means we do not drop the letter y for example the word toy ends with letter y but before that there is a vowel that is letter o so therefore when we have to change it to its plural form that is toys we do not drop the letter y but we simply add the letter s one more example that is key the word key ends with letter y but before that there is a vowel that is e therefore we have to change it to its plural form that is keys we do not drop the letter y just we simply add the letter s there are many more examples like monkey monkeys so whenever the noun ends with letter y we have to keep it in our mind that we have to check the letter before y whether it is consonant or vowel if there is a consonant with y then we have to drop letter y and add i e s but if there is a vowel with letter y then we don't have to drop letter y but with y just add letter s let's move to the rule number 5 rule number 5 if a noun ends with letter f or f e then we drop f or f e and add v e s for example leaf l e a f leaf leaves l e a v e s the word leaf ends with letter f to make it into its plural form we drop the letter f and we just write v e s to make its plural form that is leaves there are some more example that is let us see some more examples example number 2 knife k n i f e knife here the word knife ends with letters f e to make into its plural form we drop the letters f e instead of that we will write v e s to make its plural form that is knives one more example wolf wolves 
life lives rule number 6 a few words do not follow the rules just keep it into your mind for example chef c h e f chef the word chef ends with letter f though we do not drop the letter f and we don't have to add v e s we just add s with letter f this rule is an exception to rule 5 it means that there are some nouns that ends with f to make it plural we do not drop the letter f but we simply add s at the end some nouns do not follow the rules okay so that we have to keep in our mind handkerchief handkerchiefs rule number 7 for some nouns we change the inside vowel to make it plural for example one man many men one tooth many teeth one mouse many mice for example one man many men the spelling for men is m a n to change to its plural form we drop the letter and we change it to e so now the plural form of men will change to men that is m e n let us see some more examples tooth here the spelling for tooth is t double o t h tooth to change it to its plural form we drop the letters double o and we change it to double e that is teeth tooth teeth in the same way mouse mice foot feet for some noun we add en at the end to make it plural for example o x ox to make the plural form of the noun ox is oxen we just add the letters e n rule number 8 some nouns are the same in singular and plural form one sheep many sheep one deer many deer here we do not change the spelling when we are changing to its singular to its plural form listen carefully nouns that do not form plurals in the usual way are called irregular nouns hope you have understood all the rules now let's solve and exercise choose the correct word that is given to you number 1 there are five dash swimming in the lake number 2 the dash are in the shed number 3 rita so a beautiful dash in the garden number 4 seema drank 3 dash of juice number 5 the church dash is 
ringing. Now let's take your answers. Number one, there are five dash swimming in the lake. Here the word five tells us that there is more than one. So we have to write plural form of the word goose that is geese. So there are five geese swimming in the lake. Number two. The dash are in the shed. Here the word are tells us that there is more than one. So we have to write the plural form of the word cow. The cows are in the shed. Number three. Rita saw a beautiful dash in the garden. There is only one butterfly. So we can say Rita saw a beautiful butterfly in the garden. Right. Next is number four. Seema drank three dash of juice. Here the word three tells us that there is more than one. So we have to write the plural form of the word glass. So Seema drank three glasses of juice. Number five, the church dash is ringing. Here the word is tells us that there is only one. So we have to write the singular form which is bell. So the correct answer is the church bell is ringing. Along with this video lecture you will get worksheet in this worksheet, there is question A that is match the following. In that, two columns are given. In column A, all the singular nouns are given. And in column B, all the plural words are given. But, column B is in jumbled form. You have to find out correct plural form of the singular noun. And match with it. Below that, there is a question B. Write the plural form of the words given below. I have given singular nouns, and you have to make plural form of the words given below. Remember all the rules which we have understood to make the nouns plural. For this, you can watch this video again so that you will not make any mistake to solve worksheet. You can either take print out of this worksheet or you can write in your grammar book.